हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू शिफ्ट रेजिस्टर्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द वर्किंग ऑफ डिफरेंट शिफ्ट रेजिस्टर्स एंड दे विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन द सर्किट्स कंटेनिंग डी टाइप फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स टू फॉर्म द डिफरेंट शिफ्ट रेजिस्टर्स सो बिफोर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स कंसेप्ट यू शुड रिकॉल द डिजाइन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप so first we will see what is a resistor so resistor is a set of flip flops used to store the binary data and its function is to hold the information within the digital system so that it is available to the logical elements during computing process now we will see what is a shift resistor so basically the shift resistor is a type of resistor that is applicable for moving the information upon the occurrence of clock signals so it is used basically for storage and transfer of digital data there are two types of data transfer so first is serial data transfer in which the data is shifted along a single line one by one that is one bit at a time and the second type is parallel transfer in this all the bits can be moved along the multiple paths towards the receiver so according to the possible ways resistors can be uh, resistors can be categorized as serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out and parallel in parallel out so we'll see the function of these shift resistors one by one first we will see the serial in serial out shift right shift resistor so shift right means here the bits are shifted towards right one by one according to the given clock pulse here the block diagram shows four bit serial in serial out shift right shift resistor four d flip flops are used here flip flop 1 2 3 and 4 here the input is given to the leftmost d flip flop and the output of that is connected to the next d flip flops input means here each and every flip flops output is connected to the next d flip flops input so let us consider one data that is 1010 10. we have to move this data towards the right one by one bit so at first clock pulse zero will appear at the output of first flip flop then at the next clock pulse the zero is shifted towards right as it is a input of second flip flop so zero will be at flip flop 2 and the output of flip flop 1 will be the new bit that is 1 at the third clock pulse the data will be 010 and at the fourth clock pulse data will be 1010 so it works in serial manner to shift the data towards right hand side so total we will require eight pulses to input the data serially and to drag out the data serially the next type is shift left shift resistor so we will keep the structure of d flip flops constant according to the shift right resistor just we have to connect the output of the next flip flop to the input of previous flip flop for example we will select the rightmost flip flop first and we have to give the serial input from right hand side now the flip flop force output will be given to flip flop number 3 that is d3 the output of flip flop 3 is given to input of flip flop 2 like that the output of next flip flop is nothing but the input of previous flip flop now we will consider the leftmost bit that is 1 as a input so after that at second clock pulse the bit is shifted towards left that is the new bit arrives at flip flop 4 and its previous bit is shifted towards left so the output will be 1 0 now at the third pulse the output is 1 0 1 and at the fourth pulse the output is 1 0 1 0 so totally eight pulses are required means the four pulses are required to load that resistor with the input data and eight pulses are required to drag out the output from these resistors the next type is serial in parallel out shift resistor that is sipo resistor here you can see the four d flip flops are arranged again in cascading manner means the output of first flip flop is given to the input of next flip flop like that the four flip flops outputs are connected towards uh, to the next flip flops inputs but the outputs are uh, collected simultaneously for example if we consider 1010 then the bits are shifted towards right one by one within the four pulses and at the fifth pulse the data will arrive at the output that is 1010 simultaneously 
so totally five pulses are utilized to see the data at the output the next type is parallel in serial out shift register here you can see the four d flip flops are arranged in a specific manner the constructions of and gates and or gates are required here to select the data to be shifted or to be loaded so there is one input provided shift or load bar here if we give the input zero it will enable the operation of loading the data into the d flip flops means the data can be loaded simultaneously as it is parallel in operation so by making it enable we can load the data through d0 d1 d2 and d3 in respective flip flops if we give one to the line shift or load bar then it will enable the shift operation through this and gate g4 g5 and g6 so it will enable to shift the data the first clock will give the data d0 towards q0 at the second clock the d0 will be shifted through g4 to input of d of the second flip flop and at the third it will shift towards right through g5 which is the input of flip flop 3 like that the bits are shifted towards right on the available clock pulses now i will request to pause the video and you have to think about this how many clock pulses are utilized for shifting the data into and out of the piso shift register you can refer the previous diagram okay welcome back so the answer is five clock pulses because by shifting the data into by shifting the data we can drag the outputs from the registers in four clock pulses and by one clock pulse we can load all the data simultaneously so we'll require totally five clock pulses next is parallel in parallel out shift register that is pipo here also you can see the four bit parallel in parallel out shift register having the structure of four d flip flops but the inputs and outputs are individual here the clock is common so the circuit is again synchronous but you have to give the data simultaneously that is parallelly so we will again consider the data input 1010 we will give this data parallelly through the input d0 d1 d2 and d3 in single clock pulse and at next clock pulse we can drag all the data from the system simultaneously that is 1010 means totally two clock pulses are required for parallel in parallel out shift register so these are the working and constructions of the respective shift register types so we'll see modes of operation so it is just summary what we have seen till now so these are the mode of operations first is ciso write that is serial in serial out write which can be illustrated in this manner here the data can be shifted towards right and the data bits are shifted from left to right by one bit then ciso left here the data bits can be shifted towards left by one bit according to the clock pulses the third type is cipo that is serial in parallel out so here the data can be shifted serially but it can be dragged out within a single pulse simultaneously next type is pipo that is parallel in parallel out where all the data can be shifted in the registers parallelly and output can be dragged parallelly piso that is parallel in serial out here the data can be moved into the registers parallelly but the data can be dragged out in serial manner so totally five pulses are required so according to the shift modes there are different applications of the shift registers so first is bidirectional shift register so it is serial in serial out shift register which accepts the data and moves the data towards right to left or left to right and the second is rotate right shift register here the data can be rotated towards the right by shifting the data towards the right the last type is rotate left shift register the data can be shifted towards left and it can be rotated again to go towards left we will see the applications in next lecture thank you